YouTube, what's going on? My name is Matthew and welcome back to the channel. So about one or two weeks ago, I actually posted this video on my Instagram story with a poll and I basically asked you guys if you wanted to see this effect done on my channel as a tutorial and most of you guys said yes, so I'm going to show you guys how to make this awesome green screen effect. The thing about this effect is it's actually super easy, but before we get into the video, I gotta talk to you guys about something really quick. Oh my goodness, I don't want to do this again. Okay, so I make these like every single week. Every single time I upload, I always have to talk about this. It's about my upload schedule the three videos that I've posted on my YouTube channel uh, and just abandon my YouTube channel basically I promise that I'm trying to improve this skill and it's not just me being lazy and slacking off on the uploads it really does make me upset when I don't upload a certain day or miss an upload and as you can tell I only have three videos on the channel so I've missed a lot of uploads I feel like this is a reoccurring pattern on my channel I'll come back say I'm gonna upload every single week and I just don't and I mean the only way that I can make up for this is just by creating more videos and getting better at it as I go along I think the thing that I'm doing wrong is actually putting too much pressure on me because I have so much work right now. I think what I'm trying to say is that I need to start uploading one or two times a week instead of three. At least I'll try to make it two, but if it's not two, it'll be one video a week. I'm not gonna have a set schedule this time and I'm just gonna upload whenever I feel like so I'm not held to that pressure. And one thing that's really weird since, I mean, I'm a YouTuber, I'm actually a pretty camera shy person and don't enjoy talking in front of cameras. The hardest part when I film these videos is actually just getting used to talking to the camera. I stutter a lot and have like a speaking problem on camera not in real life though and I really don't know what it is I just I just start talking and lose track of what I'm gonna say but yeah that's basically all I had to say if you haven't followed me on Twitter and Instagram be sure to do that I'll put those right here if you want to follow me and without further ado let's get into this super exciting tutorial I hope you all enjoy this green screen transition okay so essentially all I did for this effect is I opened up my Premiere Pro I named it green screen transition I took two clips the first clip that I used was actually something that I had to film and pre-compose. Basically, all I did was go on my phone and I actually searched up green screen on it. And the one that I actually used was called green screen 15 by 20 and it looks something like this. I had to actually zoom in on it. All you're gonna do is film a stable and static shot of the green screen on your phone screen. And then you can have any clip, any clip you wanna be inside of your camera monitor, phone screen, or computer screen. You're basically just going to use that for the green screen. Okay, so I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, so once I drag those two clips into the timeline. I'm gonna scale them how they need to be. Obviously first you want to put the clip of the phone and second you want to actually put the clip of whatever clip you put in there. You're gonna go to effects and you're actually going to type in ultra key. Once you do this you're just gonna drag it onto your footage. And that footage is actually the first clip not the clip that's gonna be inside the phone. Scroll down you'll see key color you're gonna change that to green and you're actually gonna use the eyedropper tool so it's the correct color of green. Once you do this, you're gonna see nothing happens yet, but next you wanna to go to the color tolerance and turn that all the way up until you see all the green disappearing and turning into black. And now you're just gonna drag a clip, whether it's a drone clip or any clip that you want inside that green screen over the footage of the phone. As that plays along, all you're gonna do is set a keyframe at the beginning of your drone clip or whatever clip is inside the phone. And then you're gonna to go to the end of the clip, scale it in, and you're just going to leave it like that. And hopefully that's your awesome drone clip. It's a really awesome effect and it pretty much blew some people away on my Instagram. So yeah, use this in any creative way you would like. I actually used it in my last video, which was like a month ago. And as you can see, it's zooming into the screen. You can do many things. You can use a camera monitor, like I mentioned before. You could literally just print out something green and tape it on something, make some cool transitions like that. I know people do it in picture frames, which is actually really cool, and also Polaroids, so you can try that out also. That's gonna wrap up for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see y'all in the next video, whenever that is, and yeah, have a great day, guys. Peace. Free.